Ah, uh, so lovely. Hey you guys, it's AK47 Master here. Back with another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Season 2. And on this episode, we are going to be heading south down to Cinnabar Island as we are currently in Pallet Town. Um, yeah. We're heading for the, the second to last gym badge here in the Kano region. Can't believe it's already here. Anyways, pulling up a repel. Let's just do that right now. Crap, I should probably buy some more. I only have two max repels left. Oh well. It's not too far down. And that's just the game's just trolling me at this point. Because <laughs> I just checked to see if I still had a repel and I did have it active for like five more steps. Jeez. Really, game? Couldn't cheat, couldn't cheat me out anymore. Anyways. Switching over to Chonchi? Actually, no, no, no. Let me not do that. Let me switch over to Chi Chi. Alright. Alright, that works. And I will probably be battling a couple of trainers here. Probably the swimmers. Just for uh, the, the training, really, the experience for the most part. That's pretty much going to be about it. So, yeah. It's been a while since I've uploaded, as it's pretty obvious at this point that um, my channel is not really going to be back off the back on its feet until I really get the capture card and I start uploading like a madman because that's mu that's gonna that's what's gonna happen I mean I'm sure you guys probably know already know and well are well aware of this but I am getting one very soon so once I do get one I will be uploading like a madman literally so yeah that's how that's gonna be working out and uh, as far as this LP it's probably gonna be like three to four more episodes until I complete it so yeah, that's that. Okay, I decided to cut out the rest of that battle, mainly because I ran out of things to say, honestly. And uh, now that I gave myself a few minutes to kind of regain my composure, so to speak, I actually do have something to talk about, and that is the new clan I'm now a part of, which is the X Sector Clan. It's a new clan that just started out, and uh, two of my friends, or the other two members, are both good Xbox friends that I've actually chatted with quite a bit. And I've known them for a couple of months. That being EX Felix and Twin Gamer Pros or PH Pottery. And anyways, the point I'm making is that I'm part of this new clan. Uh, some of my gameplays will be going up on this clan very soon. And yeah, their link will be in the description. Anyways, here we are, Cinnabar Island. As you can see, it is not a town anymore. It was destroyed completely. But we do have a special trainer here. Who are you? My name is Blue. I was once the Kanto champion. Although short-lived, thanks to Red. Anyway, take this. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyways, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me for real, show me how many candle badges you have. Six, you're not ready to battle me. Alright, so he's basically going to say that until you get seven, as he is the last gym leader you fight here in the Kano region, so yeah, we need a total of seven to battle him. And I'm going to just heal up real quick here. Alright, and uh, fortunately we don't have the HM for rock climb. If not, if, if we did, we could actually explore this place quite a bit, and I believe there is like a tiny bit of lava at the top of the island here. So yeah, pretty cool. Kind of shows like the remnant. I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyways, so yeah, um, Cinnabar Island actually looks really cool in this game. They really did a good job with it. Very well designed for looking like a ruin <laughs> for the most part. So yeah, anyways, heading on through Route 12, I believe this is, or 11. We're going to be heading for the Seafoam Islands, which happens to be where Blaine is. Since, of course, Cinnabar Island got destroyed, Blaine's gym leader, or his Blaine's gym got destroyed with the town, so he had to uh, relocate his gym, and he relocated in the Seafoam Islands. Swimmer's a freaking nub, a scrub. How do you use a Bidoof? Level 44 Bidoof. I have nothing to say about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is ridiculous. 
Why isn't it even a barrel bar bar yet? A B barrel, whatever. I don't know. I would not get Game Freak's logic for why they put certain Pokemon in certain trainers' hands, but whatever. And what? Shroomish? Oh my god. Really? <laughs> really? Bidoof and Shroomish. Oh my gosh. Alright, now that we're finished with those two pathetically easy battles, here we are in the Seafoam Islands. And I believe we might have went through... No, no, no! I believe this is the right entrance. Yep, here it is. The gym. So it actually is connected inside the Seafoam Islands. Yo, religion in the making! This gym has many trainers and rocks in the way from the rebuilding. It sure wouldn't be easy to get to the badge, or get to Blaine, but keep it cool and defeat the trainers one by one and you will surely find the path. Alright. So I believe there is some sort of strength puzzle to this gym. Is there? Or maybe it's just, uh, you have to take out the trainers to get them to move out of the way to leave the path to Blaine. I believe that's what it is. So yeah, this is it. Second to last gym already. Can't believe it. Luckily this guy only has a single Arcanine level 50, so it won't take too long to take him out. And just be aware if you're using any physical attackers, because right there you can see Arcanine as Intimidate. Which could be really annoying, and for some reason it's using Thunderfang on me. I must not remember that I'm part... I'm part electric, and I have super high physical defense, but whatever. And this is after the physical special split, so in the past games I believe Thunder Fang would actually be a special move. If it even was in the uh, pre-Gen 4 games. I know Poison Fang was, I'm not sure about Thunder Fang, I don't know. Because they introduced Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, and Fire Fang in this, this generation. Poison Fang was the only one last generation, so whatever. Enough, on, enough about that. I'm getting a nice hefty amount of experience, and level 49, alright. I gotta start grinding up if I'm actually gonna take on the almighty one. <laughs> uh, cause I'm gonna be taking him on actually really soon. Right after I take it, I take down Blue, we're gonna be heading to Mount Silver for the final battle. And he has level 80s on his team, so yeah, I'm gonna have to prepare for that. Jeez. Alright, moving on, uh, let's take on this guy next. This guy has a pretty interesting Pokemon. He has a Torkoal, level 53. Uh, not your typical fire type. He's actually rather slow. Like, as you see right there, Birth is faster than this thing, so that should tell you. It should say something about its speed, uh, especially considering it's five levels higher than me. It's rather, it's rather slow, but it has really good defense. It, like, it really does. If you have iron defense on this thing, it is a complete tank. Like, it could probably take on a waterfall with ease if it uses iron defense. See, so yeah, overall, I really like Torkoal. I don't know, it seems some people don't really care for it, but I can definitely make it work for the most part. And I believe it learns Flamethrower through natural leveling pretty early, like in the 30s or something. So yeah, would, would recommend picking it up if you can. I actually wish you could pick one up in this game because, as you, can know, as you guys can tell, I still don't have a good fire type. Which is horrible. That's a huge hole in my team. And it just makes me vulnerable in that regard. Especially considering I have, what, three or four different Pokemon that are weak to fire. Yeah, that's a huge hole. A huge mistake I made when forming this team. Yes, finally, Golem has learned Stone Edge. Oh, Lord, yes. <laughs> I've been waiting for this thing to learn Stone Edge for the longest. It's finally learned it, which is great. Anyway, for the sake of variety, I'm going to switch back over to Chonchi here. Since that's pretty much Chonchi and Birth as the only two Pokemon I can really use in this gym. Because everything else I have is weak to fire. So, yeah. 
Alright guys, well in the next episode we will continue on going through the Seafoam Island Gym. Hopefully in the next episode we can take on Blaine. See you guys then.